Good evening and thanks for tuning in to First News at 10. It's an exciting day for STEAM education in Minot. Our Crystal Qual went to explore more at the Magic City Discovery Center. Kids and the adults alike tinkered with the simple yet intricate exhibits at Friday's dedication of the Magic City Discovery Center. McKenna Jensen says that as a musician, it's fun for her to tune into the sound and stare. I'm a musician myself, so it's really nice to explore with new things. And I'm just really creative with light, and I just it fascinates me. It is cool. The center is a decade in the making, a $14 million project that's finally come into fruition. Former board president Karen Brusmason says she was elated. It gets the inner Fred Rogers going, welcome to my neighborhood. <laughs> The Science Museum was built with the contribution of a $6.3 million grant from the Department of Defense's Defense Community Infrastructure Pilot Program. Colonel Kenneth McGee, commander from the 91st Missile Wing, says future participation in STEM doesn't begin when teens turn 18. It starts with facilities just like this. It starts with the ability to educate our children in STEAM. The Minot Area Community Foundation gave the project three quarters of a million dollars a few years ago. Wendy Keller fought back emotions when expressing her gratitude to everyone involved in bringing the center to life, including the more than 50 designers and fabricators. I want to thank everyone that has helped us along this journey because we truly could not be where we are today. Mayor Tom Ross says he did not have this when he was a kid. My STEM project was to go to uh, Sears and get a cardboard box and go cardboard sliding down the coolies and Jim Hill. And yes, it's technically for children, but adults can have fun too. In my knots, I'm Crystal Quow, reporting for your news leader. Now the building opens to the public on May 5th. You can reserve your ticket on their website. Exciting time for the Magic City.